And welcome back to season 23 of Monuments of Victory. As always, Rock here. And if you haven't quite guessed what the map is this time around, <laughs> Vinyl Fantasy 2 by 32. Now, this was a map that was quite a quite a few people suggested at the end of last episode, the uh, the finale of Canopy Carnage, and I figured it would be a good time to. I figured it would be a good time to get into the map. Um, it is, has been a map that has been on my list of maps that I would like to do. Wow, what the hell are these spiders coming up? Spiders, stop it! Um, it has been on my list of maps that I would like to play. And I figured now would be a good time. Let me get back to the middle of the map. which <laughs> Seems like it might be safest. Um, it has been on my list of maps that I would, would like to play for quite some time. Uh, now... Uh, Final Fantasy 1, we uh, played on the full stream on... Yeah, we played on the full stream, so it kind of made sense to progress and move on to a new Final Fantasy for the the uh, Let's Play. Now, with that in mind, it's I don't necessarily mind going back and playing Final Fantasy 1 for Let's Play. Um, I just want to make it clear that I have played it before, so... Um, it may ruin the experience for some people. I'm not not entirely sure, but you know, if enough people would like me to want, play Final Fantasy, <laughs> Final Fantasy One on Let's Play, I am all for doing that. Now, speaking of Final Fantasy Two, we are playing in Minecraft 1.3.2. Um, the thread suggested playing in Minecraft 1.2.5, and it also would have recommended a mod by last username, uh, the Lights Out mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. Now, the mod itself was unaccessible on the thread that that that, uh, that it was linked. The uh, the recommendation was linked to. Um, I went on there, clicked the link, and it led to an unknown. It and pretty much led to a broken link. So instead of kind of risking that risking the map being broken in 125 I decided to move on to 1.3.2 so that is what we'll be playing with um, if you do want to join along with us we'll be playing at 1.3.2 so that is what I would suggest playing along with us with is 1.3.2 Jesus there's so many spiders but the least the nice thing about this is that I don't have to worry about our damage uh, being having to uh, to waste hunger on our damage regen. Um, so let's see. Always play on easy difficulty or higher. No peaceful. Survive in any way you can. Goddamn spiders! There's spiders everywhere. Ah, oh, that a second spider. Okay, it's daytime. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore them for now. Um, Survive in any way you can. Locate and complete the jukebox monument. Locate records hidden around the map. 11 total. Do not use records dropped by creepers to complete the jukebox monument. Do not break jukebox boxes or break our wool blocks at the jukebox monument. Do not use mods, plugins, or third party apps to gain an advantage. Now, we are using a mod. Um, as a note, we are using a mod, uh, Optifine. Um, I don't think this is going to really give us an advantage in the map. Uh, we don't have Void Fog turned off or anything like that, so it shouldn't matter. So, as a heads up, we are using OptiFine. Uh, so, blah, blah, oh, blah, 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 OptiFine. <laughs> uh, do not build another portal, find the existing portals, and do not exceed the boundaries on the map. Sounds easy enough. Uh, let's back up real quick. Let's get a look at these maps. Is this... Okay, they are two separate maps. <clears throat> Long ago, our ancestors found a shimmering blue dot amongst the sea of stars. This tiny planet made of water and clay appeared to be not unlike our own. In the spirit of, disco <laughs> In the spirit of discovery, mining and crafting, our ancestors set out on a journey across space to pioneer this unknown world. From what we know now, the ancient settlers colonized 
Colonization was successful. We received several transmissions with details of native terrain and life forms, but then the signal stopped abruptly. 1,000 years later, our mission is to find the ancient documents that might lead us to understand the vanishing of our ancestors. You must power the ancient vessel and send us any ancient records you find. <laughs> gotta, you know, gotta make sure there's no cribbers coming for us. Our teleportation technology is limited. We cannot. We can only power uh, port organic matter. You will have to resource all the tools you need to accomplish the mission. You start at the only coordinates we received from the original settlers. Good luck. Hey. All right. So a little, a little backstory in this along with that. Um, now, I'm uh, not going to go out that way. We want to do a little bit of exploring around the general area. See if we can find any um, starting resources. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, that looks like something that we want to look into real quick. Uh, while it is a day, it is a good idea. Ooh, this is a nice starting salute. Um, it is a good point in which to kind of grab as much, you know, loot around the area that might come in handy for us. Oh, shift clicking. Ah, oh, I've missed it, so. Let's grab this real quick. Shift clicking, I missed it, so, since playing 1.7.3. <laughs> um, now, we want to investigate around the area to see as much as we can. Uh, okay. I was kind of hoping that this, this was the case that these leaf blocks would be on uh, be on top of a log, and it does seem to be the case, which should make things a little bit easier for us and give us the at least the initial starting wood that we we'll probably need for the map. Hey, guy, suck it. <laughs> Alright, so I see a sign over here. That's another good point of interest to investigate. What do we got? Area 3. Now, this could mean this is leading to... Possibly this could mean this is leading to Intersection 3 or inter Area 3 of Intersection 1. It's hard to say. Okay, there's another sign there that we want to... Another sign there that we will probably want to investigate before we get too deep into the map. Grab as much of this rotten flesh we got here. Area 2. Okay, much like I was saying before, that could either lead to intersection 2 kind of thing or lead to area 2 of intersection 1. And let's take a look at this sign right here. Uh, Shellshock Isle. Island intersection one. Okay, so these are the various intersection areas of one. Uh, those spawners. Um, it's probably going to be in our best interest to set up a wooden wooden pick real quick. Uh, let's turn all of this into planks. Uh, 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 like that. Grab you. We'll make ourselves a wooden pick real quick. We already have some planks. We can't. Unfortunately, we cannot drag like we can normally at the moment. Quite a few things different, or at least quite a few improvements since 173, which we played last time. <laughs> but still, still many, many, many of issues that uh, we'll have to deal with that we don't have in the current version of Minecraft. Try to take out as much of these spawners maybe as we can and ah oh, being able to break these <laughs> and being able to break these spawners in more than eight seconds with a diamond pick is fantastic. So if anything. Oh another added bonus to being able to play in 1.3.2 is I believe that spawners give XP in 1.3.2 and don't in 1.2.5 so that's a added bonus 
it's probably a good thing. Let's see if I can knock out this. And it looks like we are heading into the nighttime cycle. Now we have a bunch of wool on us. Uh, we should be able to turn this wool into a bed. Ow. Oh yeah, that's another, I guess, difference between 1.2.5 and 1.3 is that silverfish actually are a threat in 1.3.2 versus uh, being a non-existing threat in 1.2.5. So that does pose the potential threat. But I think we'll be okay. Let's plop this down. We can do... do do just like that perfect and we shouldn't have to worry about mobs interrupting us since we're able to actually sleep now I'm probably not gonna leave this bed here I'll probably bring it with us uh, just because this is prob uh, oh, at least I hope this is where we're gonna be naturally spawning so I hope there's no issues. And if I remember correctly, I think this area over here was area two. I think we need to head over to the left for area one. Nope, okay, this is area one. Um, this is, all right, perfect. Ah, <laughs> even better. I was like, oh, a chest, perfect. Boats, even better. Because so it looks like we'll be heading off in this direction. Now, let me grab... Oh, there's a creeper up there. Let me see if I can grab this. Now, I don't know when the next point at which I'll be getting wood. So it's always a good thing to take out... Or, no, sorry. It's always a good thing to get as much as wood as we can when we can that way we don't have to worry about you know not finding wood for quite some time all right so we are heading into area one of intersection one i think we have a pretty good supply of stuff we've got some starting gear we've got some starting tools and it looks like we're heading into an area which looks like trees <laughs> I'm going to laugh a little bit if this is actual wood and not just like fake cobble trees or something like that. Uh, we have a bedrocks cloud above. And yeah, that's actual wood. Oh boy. And it looks like actual cobble as well. Even better. And what does this sign say? Sub area. The blackest bog. <clears throat> Our first discovery of life on this planet, a grass-like substance, is the cornerstone of a habitable planet. I see you coming, buddy. Uh, we have begun forming a small village. Let me deal with this guy real quick. Come on, buddy. Ain't got all day. Let me grab that. XP! We can leave for now. And if I remember about regarding XP, I think 1.3.2 uh, lowered the XP requirements from 50 to 30 for max level. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We have begun forming a small village here amongst the rocky archipelology Polologo. I'm terrible with words, so excuse my poor, poor wording. The vegetation seems not unlike our planet, making farming very easy. Our only concern is a dark cloud that looms on the horizon. We have not yet witnessed weather formations like this one. Okay. Good to know. I like that. Uh, three two is giving us a bit of a story as we're going, so we can kind of understand from a uh, story standpoint of what's going on with this world. And is this actual cobble? Oh, thank God! 
to say the least, I like when a map gives you early cobblestone and you don't have to worry about relying on shitty wooden tools. Because I've played I've played some maps like that where you know you start off with kind of pretty shitty wooden tools and it's just kind of it uh it loses a bit of the fun in it. I uh understand the the uh understand the reasoning for it. It does add a bit of um scaling difficulty to a map. Uh but in general it can be unfun. So I always enjoy when a map uh, gives you that starting cobble so you don't really have to worry. And as there's a tree right here, it might be in our best interest. And there's a lot of lights around too. It might be in our best interest to make a um, pickaxe with this wood. Or not wood, with this cobble. We have 17. I think we can make ourselves a cobble pickaxe. That's a good start. We will make ourselves a cobblestone axe. Perfect, perfect. And as this is vines, I think we can climb up a bit. Okay, that looks good. We should be able to mine out this real quick. And then I think we can dig straight down with what we got. Take out that, that, that. Just like that. Just like that. This will give us a little bit of extra wood uh, for building blocks if necessary and just for kind of resources in general. And I think we should build the dig straight down for now. We'll probably, I'm thinking kind of we'll end up using these these um, planks as a building block just because we don't really have much for building blocks at the moment and I would rather save the cobblestone if possible just for future areas in general. Um, it does appear that there is quite a bit of wood in the area so if necessary you know not having to build any cobblestone extra cobblestone tools kind of thing or use the uh, cobblestone for building blocks well let me rephrase that there seems to be quite a bit of cobblestone in the area and wood and I would rather not have to use the cobblestone for things if not necessary and since there is quite a bit of wood this seems like a good opportunity to use it as a building block perfect perfect now there is quite a few lit elements in the area that I would like to investigate. It doesn't hurt to... Oh, I see the wool and I'm like, oh, I got some wool for the monument. And then I gotta remember I'm not playing a super hostile. And what happened to my boat? I think my boat exploded. Nope, it's right there. It does appear to be a little bit of... There's some light up there. Light there, light there. It does appear to be a little bit of light around the general area. And it probably wouldn't hurt if we kind of investigated into some of this light. Um, potentially it could lead to loot. Um, other than that, it could just be... I don't know. And um, there goes the boat. Well, we're not going that approach. Okay, zombies still take quite a bit to kill, like they did in 1.2.5, so, and 1.73. I thought it took less cobblestone hits than this to kill them. Maybe that's in newer versions. Oh, I guess the fact that we aren't critting is probably also a big factor when it comes to this. So we'll see. Um, let's head over to that first light, I think, for now. And wait, is that actually a light up there? Ah, oh, shit, no. Actually, I think that is a light up there as well. Get some bread going. Let's investigate up here first before we go too deep into the area. I 
that. Thank God this is actual cobblestone and not... Ooh. Ah. Thank God it's actual cobblestone. Thank God those skeletons aren't 1-6 skeletons where they shoot faster. And thank God. For... No, I think I thanked everything. <laughs> it's a good thing that we're playing in 1.3 and not like 1.6 or 1.7. So we don't necessarily have to worry about those uh, pesky skeletons that could cause a lot of issues. Okay, that's a good thing. Oh, some arrows. That's also good. A little of extra cooked food. So we're not going to have to worry about starving per se. We'll grab this as an off chance kind of thing. Oh, I see a sign over there. So that's always worth looking into. Now, I don't remember if we... I want to say 1.3.2 did not have the one block fall uh, into water. Canceled the damage. I think... Um, oh, I think I want to say that 1.3.2, ah, no, 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 did have, if you didn't fall in from high enough, or if you did fall in from too high on, into one block, you, you took fall damage. I want to say that's the case. Oh, no. Skeletons, please. Skeleton, please. Ooh. Skeleton's trying to be sneaky. Sneaky bastard. Let's work our way into the structure. That way we can kind of avoid a little bit of these... I hear you shooting at me, you bastard. Avoid a little bit of this um, hostility from these skeletons. Okay, we're going to make sure that we're not getting into a situation where blocks can fall onto us and suffocate us, just like that. We will, however, try to get upwards and see if we can yeah, like that. For better hallway vision. Somehow bread and arrows gives for better hallway vision. Well. <laughs> well, sure. Had that been carrots or something, it would make more sense. But I'm not sure where entirely 3-2 is going with that. Ooh. I need a bow. ASAP. I could actually make a bow. I've got these sticks and I've got the string. Perfect. Just like that. All right, definitely. Making things easier for ourselves. Okay. Now the question is, do I want to continue forward or do I want to investigate into the sides? Now, something tells me I should investigate into the sides. Um, as every lit area that we have found so far has led to some pretty decent loot. And going for that loot might actually be pretty beneficial for ourselves. So maybe it might be in our best interest to at least maybe go for one or two of the, the side areas just to make sure that there is loot in them and maybe it will have some beneficial loot that we could use. Now I'm going to investigate these two right here. Um, if it does turn out to be fruitful, um, it might be one of those things that might be worth checking into off-screen um, while we investigate the area 
as a kind of, hey, while we're off screen, we looted the area and got some bonus loot for ourselves. So I'm thinking that might be the case. So we'll kind of clear our way through here real quick. We'll take a peek up here, and it looks like these vines are going to lead us to where we need to be. That doesn't look healthy in there. <laughs> um, okay. Some nice apples. Nice healthy amount of apples. Nice tasty amount of arrows. Okay, this does appear to be quite beneficial for us. Now we have that right there. Oh, there is another one right there, too. As much as I don't want to waste time doing um, things that might be, you know, time-consuming like this, I think it might be okay. Just because, ultimately, it's leading to loot for us. more bread, some more arrows, a boat. I'm not too concerned about the boat at the moment. Um, let's head over to that uh, one more thing right there. Hopefully there's no others. Uh, no other things close enough. Okay. I did stop fall damage. Maybe we weren't high enough? I don't remember what version of Minecraft it was that fall damage into one block's prevented all damage that it kind of was fixed for that but uh I'm hoping it's 132 I'm kind of seriously doubting it is but I'm hoping all right so let's investigate into this tower real quick and then head into uh, that central structure we were looking at Now, is there a... Oh, there is a spawner there. Nope. Not feeling very healthy. Oh, screw you, spawner. And you. <laughs> Alright, we got rid of him. There's a lot of spawners in this particular tower. A lot more than I have saw in the previous towers. I'm wondering if this means something good is on top of this tower. And oh boy, please. <sighs> Alright, so, note to self. One thick water does not stop fall damage. And I think it was ah, this way that we had to head to in order to get to area one. All right, correct. All right, luckily, well, let me get myself away from that corner. But luckily for us, that tower should be fairly safe. Um, we got rid of a four of the spawners or something like that in the tower. So it should be fairly safe. And we fell out of the tower and hit the ground. So our loot, it should be on the ground. So I think that area should be fairly safe. I can't guarantee it's going to be the safest, but it should be fairly safe. So let's hope for the best in our attempt at getting back into the area. Hopefully we don't run into too many bad things. We're going to have to try to zigzag our way through these spawners. Is this where we fell? I think if we head slowly through this, I think right over there is where... As I was gonna say, I think if we head slowly through these lily pads, we should break them and not lose the boat. Okay, I lied. We'll lose the boat. Said this way. There we go. 
Um. Shit, no. That skeleton was the worst thing that we could have around at the time. So if we can clear out skeletons away from our area. And I'm hearing bad things falling down around us. I need to regen the best I can. Whew. Alright, it looks like we recovered the majority of our stuff so far. We do have a lot of shit in our inventory. But I think that's okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think we're quite all right at the moment while we regen. Okay, good. That's safe down here. Rid of ah, damn. damn, damn creepers, damn water. Okay, make sure we are safe. Okay, we got a little bit of gear over here. Let's see if we can grab that real quick. Okay. I think... Relatively safe. We'll just use that to repair that because it's pretty much going to break here any minute. We've got a lot of crap in our inventory. Okay, now we still need to get back up here. We got up, up to it but didn't make it successfully up just because of the creeper explosion. So let's see if we can sneak our way up here. I mean, we do have... Ah! So we do have light up here. So that should help. There goes the... That. Okay, it looks like we found a boat. Signs. We've got some food. All right, it's a good, good haul so far. Let's get rid of that gunpowder. Zombie flesh will keep on us as a safety thing. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so I think that is a good selection of loot for now that we've found from uh, exploring around the island now. I think it would probably be in our best interest to explore around the island a bit more off screen um, for next time. But for now, I think that is a good selection or a good amount of exploring. Uh, so I think we can call it good there. So let's head towards the middle area that we saw. It did look like it was a giant tower. So it would probably... Oh, can I do this? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> um, it did look like it was a pretty big tower. So we can... Best guess, best assumption is that that might, that might be where we need to be. So, let's head over there. And take a gander into the area up there in that center part and see if we can find anything useful. Now I want to say we've been up into this build structure right here. We will double check just in case. Oh, nope. Okay, we have not been up here. <laughs> right. Looks like we got some pretty good loot from the chest here. 
Now we need to grab ourselves a little bit more torches so we have some more. Ah, yeah, just like that. And my volume seems to be off. Hold on. All right. I think we're all set now. So we got some good torches. We have some leather, which I think would be a good idea to craft a, a bit of armor for us. Now we have pants, so getting a helmet and boots will probably be the best of ideas. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that. Perfect. So let's continue our way to... No! Damn sneaky, sneaky creepers. Always ruining everything. Okay. Now again, let's continue our way. Continue our way towards the center of the area, which... God, I don't even know which way is the center anymore. This feels like the outer area. Oh, well, there's a structure out here. So that is worth investigating into. Hold on. There's the center. Um, now we do have a structure out here that wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad thing to look into. Let me look into this real quick first. And then we will look into that center structure find out what this is. I'm seeing a pathway right here. We're all over the place today. We we do have a good eye on where we need to be, so that's always a good thing. Sub area, return. Return to the Valley of Rolsa. Alright. Now let's drop off a few things that might not come in handy. Necessarily for us, blah, 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 like that. THI, cloud that loomed on the horizon has now covered our initial settlement in the blackest of night, or blackest of light. Dark and hostile creatures appeared. Ho, 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 hotel, hotel. I assume this supposed to be hostile. We, we chose to abandon the village and, and press forward in, into the unknown. We reached an um, abrupt end to our path and discovered a valley full of architecture not of our own creation. We are clearly not the first advanced life forms here, the settlers. Oh boy. Oh no, don't fall down. Okay, there appears to be a lot of stuff there. Now we have an idea of this area, so that's good to know. Um, I don't think I'm going to investigate it fully just yet. It's probably in our best interest to investigate more into this building first. Kind of, kind of keep a uh, keep a focus on one area at a time versus kind of splitting off into multiple areas. So let's head into this center structure first, dodging as many lily pads as we can. Well, all of like two. <laughs> dodging as many lily pads as we can. And so I think the best, best thing for us, oh, nope, is to focus on one area at a time and then we can move out into other areas that we need to. Okay, I see a, a structure up there. Now, that kind of does remind me a bit of a uh, the underside of possibly a record monument, maybe? Or not, not her, not record monument, but a record box, maybe? So let's get a peek up at the area, at least for now. Um, I think we're running pretty low on time, so maybe we can take a look into this area and then 
kind of end the episode for today. So let's get our way up into this area, see how it goes, and then possibly end the area episode for today. Uh, I think we're running into the 30, 30 minute mark right now. And that's not... I usually try to not go for super long episodes like that, so we will investigate this area, I think, and then we'll probably call it there for today. Okay. Not seeing a whole lot just yet, but we will continue our way upwards in hopes for something. Whether that be a record, maybe, or I... Other than other other than a record, I don't know. I don't know what else. I guess the, theoretically could be loot up here, but we're shooting for a record. Okay, seems that the night time is coming upon us very very soon. Now we will have to remember this specific direction because I think that is probably, oh, that doesn't look like a box at all. Or, unless the, um, mm, unless three, two is only incorporating like, partial boxes, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I can't imagine that being the case, but I guess theoretically, that could be the case. Oh, that looks like a gas spawner up there. Mm -mm -mm. Let's continue our way up. Actually, hold on before we do a whole lot. Let's try to pitch anything that might be useless to us. Like that. I want to say string. Spider eyes. Gravel. Let's replace our building blocks with some mossy cob or mossy stone brick. Okay, I think that is a good point to continue upwards. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully it's a, a record. But who knows? We'll see. Though I definitely do need to make myself a new pick here. Let's do this in the meantime while we are working our way up. Oh, not there. As a safety precaution. That way if our pick runs out while we're trying to work our way up, we can quickly replace it. You know, you never know when you're going to be in a situation where you need to switch to a pick real quick in uh, the off chance that it breaks. Such as we're dealing with that gas spawner up there. We're not going to want to have uh, no pick when we get up to it. All right, let's see what we got up here. Let's see, we ended up losing it in a pretty good situation, but that could have been so much worse. It doesn't look like it's quite friendly up here. Okay, gas over there. Let's see if I can work my way up. No, 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 no. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, there's a lot of bad things up here that I don't like. It seems there are probably... Bad, bad thing. Terrible bad thing spawners up here. That sounded like a blaze. Shit. Blaze or fire? I can hope for fire. I can't guarantee it's not a blaze. Okay, get rid of you. Hope we're not. Ooh, that's a lot of skeletons. It doesn't look like they're too smart up at this height. Why are we at? 
192. Um, no, no. <laughs> Gotta be careful for these holes. I don't want to get thrusted down into the depths of hell. Is one over there. Probably want to. Actually, I don't know if we necessarily need to deal with that. We could probably deal with the spawns that are a result of it. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Whew. We'll definitely want to get rid of you guys down here. How's it going? There's quite a few of you, isn't there? Eee. Oh no. Where'd you shoot from? Where are you? We're definitely wanting to make this as safe as possible if we're trying to get to that chest over there. Okay, I think... Oh boy. Okay. Alright, so it appears to be... Okay, it looks like pretty decent loot. Versus an actual box. Now I'm guessing that since we didn't find the record in this chest, it might be more towards that uh, that other area that we we uh, we saw and didn't initially go towards. So that might be something for next time. I'm thinking. I think this might be a good time to call it there for today. Um, we'll probably work our way back towards base off screen uh, maybe do a little bit more exploring off screen into the area looting what we can and uh, going from there so I think that's going to do it for today thanks for joining everyone in the first installment of Vinyl Fantasy 2 as always if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. As always, this is Rock. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!